Hey everyone, welcome back to Savage Sense Outdoors. We're back here working on the salvage to savage boat. Last video, we finished up the pour foam in here, and today we're working on decking. It, we're going all aluminum decking in this thing, as you guys uh, heard in our framing video. This stuff is expensive, so my nerves are on edge right now because every cut we make into this metal, it's gonna be about a hundred dollar cut. It costed $275 for a sheet of aluminum. I got 90 thou thick aluminum and it's four by 10. And unfortunately this boat is wider than four feet. So we're gonna need to measure the width and then cut the width. And then we're gonna have to lay our aluminum in four feet at a time, working our way up the boat. We don't have the casting deck in yet, as you can see. So once the casting deck is framed up, we'll pick up this decking video back up for when we get to deck that in. Today we're just decking in this main portion of the subfloor. All right, big change of plans here. We were trying to cut with this thing, a saber saw. It is cutting really slow. Uh, we're gonna run to Home Depot and grab a circular saw and a metal blade and hopefully it'll cut that stuff like butter because the jigsaw, saber saw, whatever you wanna call it, is not cutting as fast as I want it to cut and we got, we got some metal to cut today. So we gotta find an alternate solution here. DeWalt Atomic Series, four and a half inch circular saw. Hopefully she cuts that aluminum sheet like butter, like butter. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Let's see how she fits. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, drop it. No, stuck on the rod holders. One piece is in, like I said, we have to do this in four foot sections because we had to measure width wise and then our sheet of aluminum is four foot wide. Up here, this is a four foot gap, but in the back here, it's about 52 inches wide. That's how wide the boat is. Up here, it's 49 inches wide, so we gotta cut a taper. So back here, this will be the, the back of our taper on this side. So we got 52 width wise up here. This will be 49 for the front of the boat since it starts to taper. So we've got a very slight angle going back. Hope you can guys, you guys can visualize it. This is, this will be from the back of the boat. Hope you guys can see the, the lines that we drew out very faintly so we should only have to make two cuts here okay so i think i forgot to document it but our our blade broke and we were using it was a metal blade but it was meant for steel and it was actually melting our aluminum and that's the only reason it was cutting through it and it was taking absolutely forever but that ended up breaking went back to home depot and we got a new blade we got this blade here. It is a wood blade, carbide tipped, but if you get a fine toothed one, holy cow, it rips right through this stuff. Like, and it doesn't leave, it doesn't leave a crappy edge like the last uh, metal blade was. So I highly recommend using a wood blade, a fine tipped, do some research, get a carbide, carbide tipped saw blade, and it'll work perfect for your aluminum decking. All right, guys, disregard the tools and stuff in here. We're packing up, but we got most of this floor riveted in. If you watched our framing video, you know I'm all about these countersink rivets. I'm not gonna explain those again. Uh, you wanna hear all about countersink rivets and where I got them, feel free to go watch that framing video. But here we go. 
tomorrow I'm hoping we get to work on framing up this front casting deck do a little bit more on the rear deck those will be completely separate videos but this was some much needed progress on this boat it's starting to make me feel a lot better about this thing so mainly what we got done this weekend is we got this subfloor decked in it went really smooth aside from trying to figure out uh what saw blade to use which was we burned a couple hours worth of our Saturday yesterday trying to figure that out. But that carbide tipped, cut through this stuff, no problem. Really, we've got, we only had to cut a couple pieces. We got this piece, this one is perfectly square. And this one up front, we did have to cut a little bit of a taper. Like I was telling you guys before, the front up here is 49 inches across. And in the back, it was 52 inches across. So we did have a small taper and we probably could have executed a little bit better but we cut a straight line and there's a small gap but i'm thinking i'm gonna silicone that in just so it's sealed up nice and we also got a couple pieces of metal uh in this back area granted it is gonna get decked in with this back this back deck but i think it'll be a nice clean spot for the fuel tank to sit and maybe a battery on that side or this side will just be storage. Uh, that's not all planned out yet, but of course you gotta think 10 steps ahead when you're building a boat. So I changed my mind. Instead of cutting this video and picking it up when the rear deck and front deck are done, I'm gonna cut this one here and publish it and make it a two part video for decking since this subfloor, really it's gonna be a short video. I know it is, but the casting decks are going to be much more in-depth because we're going to be working around hatches and making a whole lot more cuts uh, to deck those things in. Uh, we've got a few videos that will be coming up. Of course, the hatches, building these casting decks. We already started working on this rear one. Not a whole lot done. We actually ran out of metal today. We got that one coming up. We'll have the front casting deck getting worked on next weekend. And of course, still gotta do electrical, kind of dreading that a little bit. But if you guys wanna win one of these lightweight fishing shirts, feel free to go watch the pour foam video. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel and like and comment on that video. And I will announce the winners for that next video. So if you're watching this video within the week, Feel free to go watch that pour foam video. It was an educational video. Honestly, it went really well. It was my first time doing it, but it did go very well. So that being said, check out that video. Please leave a like on this video and I'll see you guys next time.